point this in the car. Clutch, clutch, first clutch, uh, clutch, uh, clutch master made for the car. It didn't even last a week driving. It ate up the trust burden because they, they did it wrong. <laughs> Ready know. This has a winding, so it's four. So they're in order, yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah. yeah, remember when you took out the 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 stock one? It had it had them it had it written. That's what the the factory write that like that? Yeah. So this that motor is not the numbers, numbers. that's your six hundred numbers, the L7. Because this this motor is hand built by someone. It's not the it's not machine. a it's not a machine, it's not like a five three or like a yeah. Everything is built by hand in this car. Just like this. But this one has numbers. You see? The regular ones don't have a number. Just have a little dot to tell you what it is. It's easy. This has another nothing out of this world. So what do you do first? You what? You tie them all first, and then you check the, the, the clearances. The clearances are already checked. They're already blind board. When they line board the motor, they already know if the clearances are good enough. Before you put like you need to put a plastic gauge. You torque it down, and then you read how much it actually expands, and then that's how you know, um, you know how much how much clearance you're gonna have when you're tying it. It's called oil you got. Oh yeah, how much? Because if it's too tight, it's gonna be, it's gonna rub it in. Too tight, it's gonna eat it up. It's gonna bring a lot of heat, and then if it's too loose, you're not gonna have a good pressure. Not all pressure, right? What do you do for the first pass on the torque? 50 pounds. 50 the inner pounds. one's 50 pounds and the outer one's 60 pounds. It's smooth. So you look for it. Nice. I have a Obviously, if it's too tight, it's no good. No, no good. <laughs> of course not. That was already mentioned in the machine shop. You always want it. Make sure it's soft. There's always that that, that possibility. I, would, I like doing the, sec, the last pass. Do one, make sure it's good. Because if you do it all of them, you won't know if there's a, if there's a problem and which one it is. So that's why I. Wait, you, so you, wait, you like starting what you said from the middle, you said? The middle. I'm saying if you torque all of them, then you don't know if you have an issue, where the issue is. Okay, so, so you so start. You go, you go one by one. And you spin it out there. Yeah. Then you know if, but you just tying what was, that made a difference, made it soft, made it harder, softer. Yeah. Can tell you softer than what it was before when you burned it down. <laughs> that shit went move. And then you do another pass just to make sure. Check. 
and the loop after a while the loop gets sticky even more yeah, that's good. what do you mean the loop the assembly loop oh yeah it starts to heat up and break down yeah but after a while leaving it like that when you assemble it it gets it gets sticky sticky that's what she said <laughs> So we gotta drill this shit out the pan. We gotta drill the holes here and here because the uh, studs are too big. Hello. You can't fuck that one up. Gucci. Yeah, good to go. Oh, I had a seat. I don't want to go. So the lifters I went with, Johnson lifters, that's the market. Mm -hmm.